Okay, so uh, our ENB wasn't working for some reason when I named it API URL. Uh, then I changed it to next public API URL and now it works. Okay, so if it works, it works. Uh, all right, so uh, did we use uh, any kind of uh, Exios anywhere else? Let's see. Uh, Exios, Exios home slider header. Uh, yeah, we should probably change it here too. Okay. Uh, it has to be a template string, so let's do that. And we want to get the uh, base URL. So process dot env dot uh, next public API URL, and then we can paste the rest of the API. Okay. So let's see if our categories work. Let's reload again. Uh, okay, yeah, so our categories are working. All right, so now let's uh, move on to our featured product section. Let's close all of this. Okay, so for our featured products, we want to get the featured products, right? So you can say use effect. And Exios dot get uh, the same thing process dot env dot next public API URL and then uh, what was our API endpoint? Uh, okay, it is product slash get featured. Okay, product slash get feature then we want to get the response first of all let's uh, console log the response <clears throat> we want to handle the errors so we want to catch the errors and uh, log them to error okay so let's see what we get so uh, as you can see i do not have to go to the browser to uh, see all the data uh, each time. So sometimes with uh, Next.js 14 or some of the versions of Next.js, uh, it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you the extension I'm using. So if you go to your extension and search console ninja, right? Oh, sorry, console ninja. So this one by wallaby.js. So you can just uh, install this one and enable it. So uh, uh, this extension will allow you to see all the console logs in your code. You can hover over that and it will give you all the code here. You do not have to go to your <clears throat> uh, browser console each time. So it uh, saves a, a lot of time. Actually, it saves a huge amount of time because going to the console and filtering out all the uh, consoles, which console is from which line, uh, it's a pain. So uh, this is a very useful uh, extension you can download, uh, you can uh, add it to your VS code. So what do we get as data? Uh, inside our products array, data dot products array. So let's first uh, uh, set our products to a state, right? So let's say const products set products and we can just say use a state. Uh, first of all, let's give it an empty array. So then if we get response, dot data dot success then uh, we can set products response dot data uh, dot products right so let's remove the console from here and console it let's check the state if we got the products inside our state yep we got it okay Uh, okay, so uh, what we want to do is if we have any featured products, we want to uh, render this section, right? This uh, featured product section. So if we do not have any features product, we do not want to render this section at all. Like we do not have any products. So why should we uh, render this feature? Why should we add extra elements to our uh, our application? So what we can do is uh, we can just, uh, let's remove this from here. So uh, here I will take a fragment, 
React fragment, and then I will say if products dot length is not equals to zero, that means I have products. Uh, then I want to render some data. So if I don't do that, I can just uh, render another empty fragment. Okay. So let's inside our div. Let's say we have our product. What I want to do is let's give it a class name so we can apply some CSS featured product and also uh, we have to give it a main uh, where is it yeah so also we want to give it a main container class to add the uh, space on both sides uh, let's uh, add an element with some data because we cannot see anything uh, we want to say featured sorry yeah okay so yeah we got our main component and then uh, before everything we want to add a CSS here, right? So we can work side by side. Let's go to our style folder again and inside our components and then our home folder, we can create another uh, CSS file. Uh, let's name it featured products.scss and then we can give it a class name. Okay, so it is done. And then we, what we have, we have a title called featured products. Okay. So uh, we want to keep the title here. And I think I have a common class ready for uh, all of the titles, uh, these titles. So let's go to our common.scss file, common.scss file. Uh, I think it is home section title, this one. So, okay, so let's go back and give it a class name. Okay, let's see if it works. <clears throat> okay, so we got our featured products. So that is the advantage of creating uh, common classes. And uh, after that, <clears throat> uh, what we want to do is, uh, we want to, uh, as you can see, this is a slider, right? This is actually a slider, so the products will slide from left to right. So we already installed a Swiper to create our, uh, what is it, our hero section. So we are going to do that here too. So uh, we can go back to our code and let's say Swiper. Let's uh, import it from Swiper React. Uh, 